Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with an important video. Today is a very important video. So you guys know that I study red pill content to bring you videos like this to help put you up on feminine game. Now, honestly, this is not even feminine. Ain't nothing about this feminine. Actually, you should be in your masculine when you deal with men like this. Tell her she's fat. Do these things. I mean, when she asks you, how do I look in this dress? Uh, you, you look kind of fat. Or tell her, hey, you can fat. You need to go work out. Go to the gym. Go do something. This will humble her and let her know, hey, you're not the best thing since sliced bread. You're not the best looking woman on the planet you're not that attractive it will humble her bring her down to earth knock her off that pedestal you have to be on guard you have to be five steps ahead you have to be ready for men like this you can put out all this feminine energy you can put out all this positive energy and you will still bump into men like this so in today's video i am putting you up on game when it comes to manipulation and some of the things that men like to use tactics that are weak whack corny cowardly but in some cases these men like to use these tactics because they're insecure they suffer from very low self-esteem and they have a fragile male ego so in today's video i will be doing a breakdown of a video that was titled how to destroy her ego i don't want to waste your time or mine so let's get into it i'm just letting y'all know now this video is a mess and it's triggering it's triggering, but you need to watch it. This is called tough love. You need to watch it. It will be triggering. And if you're not in the best place, maybe you should come back to this video later, but you need to watch this video. You need to watch this video. It's disgusting. It's a lot of things, but you need to watch it because this is how men operate. Some of them. I am back once again. Listen, like the video, share the video. I appreciate all the support that I've been getting from you guys. I do this for you, man. Stay positive. Continue to take the red pill. This segment is going to be about. I'm gonna try to get through this. Knocking the woman off her pedestal, destroying her ego. Something every man must do if you still deal with women from time to time. A woman's ego is is huge. It's her head is in the clouds. She's on a different planet. The reason why? Because for years, her whole life, she's been told she's attractive. She looks good. That she's just beautiful goddess. She's this queen. I want to say this. I saw a tweet where there was a woman encouraging other women to compliment men more. I do feel like we should compliment men more. Now, not men like this, okay? They can go straight to hell. But men out here that are doing what they're supposed to be doing, men that take care of you, men that look out for you, men you can trust, men that have your back, men that don't lie, Men who don't manipulate, men who don't gaslight, and they have integrity, those are men you do need to compliment on a regular basis. They need to hear words like, you look handsome today. You're such a smart, intelligent man. Men like that deserve to be shown appreciation through compliments. But men like this are complete trash and they can really go straight to hell. So let's go ahead and continue this. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I think this really stems from a deeper insecure issue or place for him to where he feels like he has to put women down in order to make himself feel bigger or to feel more like a man. 
And so I think it stems from maybe he wasn't told when he was a kid that he was good enough or handsome or maybe he just wasn't shown love and appreciation for him to come out with a whack video like this, a corny video like this. Maybe he just wasn't shown that type of love. But at this point, he's too grown, it's too late, and he's out here putting out bad karma, so only bad things will find him. But I will say to the good ones that are out here, make sure you're showing them appreciation, showing them love. Men deserve compliments too. She must be humbled. She must be brought down to earth. This is crazy. So in this set, I'll give you four tips what things that you should do from time to time to just humble her. Bring her down to bring her down to earth. Let her know, hey, you're not the best thing since sliced bread. I got four tips today, and these are no particular order uh, of significance. Number one, you gotta tell her, hey, text her one day, hey, this isn't this isn't gonna work out. Good luck to you. She'll be, oh, oh well, wait, wait, what? What's going on? You know, she's gotta want to know why you're you're dumping her, you're leaving her, you're, you're tossing to the trash. Now, ladies, these are the mind games men love to play. They want to feel in control. Now, let me also point this very key important thing out here. The reason why he's doing this, this is a defense mechanism, okay? These men love to feel in control, to feel. They may not actually be in control and the best way to make it seem like they have control but they really don't is to play naive. Step into my office, step into my office girl because I got this down pat. These men love to feel in control. So allow them to feel in control by playing naive. No one's saying be dumb, play dumb, but play naive, play innocent, play, oh, oh, oh I didn't know that. That's so um, interesting. Yes, because these men love to feel like they're in control, they're smarter than you. They can feel that way. They can feel that way. However, the reason why they're doing it, it's a defense mechanism. They're trying to protect their ego. They're trying to protect themselves from getting hurt or getting played. Most likely this man right here got played, got hurt. And so now he feels like he has to play back. Now, am I telling you to play? No, I'm not. I'm only telling you to use these things on men who do these things to you. If they're not playing games, you don't need to play games. But if they come at you like this, all bets are off at that point. So play naive, play dumb. Act like you don't know what's going on. Play aloof, act like you just are oblivious to what's actually going on. Allow them to think that they're playing you because in reality, that gives them that sense of control, which will also give them this falsehood that they are in control, which actually puts you in control. You get what I'm saying? This man wants to play mind games. So he's playing mind games. A lot of men do this stuff today. The dating pool has pee in it. If you didn't know, now you know. I don't care how feminine you are. I don't care if you're putting out positive energy. You can put out positive energy all day. Negativity will always find you, but you have to learn how to deal with it. That is what this video is about. We're learning how to deal with men like this. So, he wants to play mind games. Men love to play mind games. They like to mind F you, play mind tricks on you. So yeah, they'll text you stuff like this. They may even ghost you for a few days, then they come back. What are some other things that they do? They do so many weird things. If a man just automatically switches up on you out of the blue when everything's going well, he's playing games with you. He's playing mind games with you. And you know what? The best thing that you can do in that situation is to walk away. And if you wanna know how to turn tables when men play games with you, is to simply walk away because you didn't sign up to play games. Collect your things, get up, and just simply walk away. Simply because every man she's dealt with and been with, she's left them. She's dumped them, she's rejected them. So when you tell her this out of her blue, or uh, just anytime she, she does something foolish, you know what it does? It, it brings it up an alarm in her head. And it humbles her and says, hey, this guy has value. I have value. You, I can get rid of you anytime I want to. This is must be done. You must. This does not say 
ooh, I have value. This says, ooh, I'm insecure. I have low self-esteem. I'm highly unattractive now because I completely turned this girl off with the mind games. That's what it really says. Who is attracted to this? You are insecure as hell. No woman wants an insecure man. If you have to do all of this to get a woman, you're weak and whack and corny. And this is all to bed a woman. It's not even to be in a relationship with a woman. It's just to sleep with you, sis. It's just to sleep with you. This is all for casual sex. And let me uh, speak to the players out here that call themselves players. Players are honest. Real players back in the day were honest. They didn't have to lie like this. They didn't have to do this type of stuff. They were honest and somehow they were able to still get women. The men that call themselves players today are weak as hell. Are weak as hell. Are weak because the only way you can really get her, the only way you can really get them, right? The women is if you lie to them, you gotta really dog them out. You gotta get the woman that has super low self-esteem. Back in the day, that wasn't always the case. There used to be a time where your grandfather could have two, three women, and they would all know about each other. And they would all stay in their place, stay in their corner. They wouldn't come out of their corner for anything. Nowadays, men don't have that same type of pool. Do you wanna know why? It's because they not providing, that's why. They just out here giving out the D like that's something, that's nothing. The reason why back in the day women were in their corner and they knew about each other was because that man was taking care of three households, two households. It wasn't, ooh, I'm just out here creating all of these single parent homes, single mother homes, but I'm not taking care of them. That was the difference between then and now. That's what makes it whack and corny is because the red pill community loves to promote out wedlock births and create all of these single mother households and then run game like this and just lie this game is bigger than you you're not a player you're not you're not you're not you're a liar that's what you are you're not a player though players still have integrity everybody knows that and how do i know this i go to the source men so if you want to know where i'm getting this information from it's men i go to the source i tell you that all the time i don't get my content or commentary from women i get the feminine stuff and then i mix in the feminine with the source and then i come to my own conclusion to bring you videos like this but in reality uh this players don't do this this is uh what the new what do they call it the youngins do this is what the youngins do thinking they doing something these little gangs and stuff like that they so quick to pull out their gun over their fist yeah it's the same thing so we are now subjecting ourselves to men like this who will be quick to pull out a gun quick to lie to sleep with you and it didn't used to be like that because back in the day all the women involved, they knew about each other and they were friends. And in some cases, they would call each other, you know, to see where they man was. Oh, is he over there? Oh, he not? Oh, he over here. Oh, okay. It used to be like that. But now these men want to lie. They don't want to take care of their responsibilities. So it's just a mess. Be ready and willing at any moment of the day, any day, any hour to, hey, tell her, hey, even if you know, if you, even if you don't mean it, tell her, hey, it's not going to work out. Good luck. See how she reacts. Number two. That's so weak. Give her a dick and don't text her back. I mean, this destroys her ego. You know why? Because her ego is attached to her vagina. When you fuck her, you take her soul. You take everything she has. Anything of value, everything of value is all invested in her vagina. Okay, now he's taking it too far. Not every man out here can take your soul like that. We know that for a fact. Pump the brakes. <laughs> okay, he went too far. Because a lot of these men, <laughs> they think they're doing something, but they not. And then also, to the women that are watching, I said this on my Instagram story. Stop telling these men how to please you in bed when it's just casual sex. Stop telling men how to please you in bed when it's just casual sex. Why are you guys being all formal, exchanging how to be pleased in bed when it's just casual? Now, why do you not want to give this type of information? It's simply because it could be weaponized against you later. Like situations like this. Give her the D if you don't call. Really? Never tell a man how to please you. Never tell a man how to give you an orgasm. Never. Ever. Not when it's casual. Now, if you're a woman that's into casual sex, because y'all know I don't judge. I don't. I surely don't. I don't judge. If you're going to participate, there are rules, ladies. If you're going to participate in casual sex, you never tell a man that you're having casual sex with 
how to please you sexually, how to give you an orgasm. Because he can use it against you. He can use it to manipulate you. He can use it to run game on you. He can use it to get you sprung. He can use it to do a lot. So you never tell a man when it's casual sex how to please you or give you an orgasm. It's casual, so keep it casual. Do not make it formal by sitting up there, pillow talking, and he trying to get the 411 because he trying to get you sprung, sis. Don't set yourself up for failure like that. We don't sit up and turn a casual sexual engagement into a formal one. Because a formal one, you would tell your husband how to sexually please you. You would tell your husband how to give you an orgasm. But your fly-by-night, that's what I call them, a partner that you consider to be casual, whether it's a one-night stand or friends with benefits, whatever the case may be, is casual. You don't tell them how to please you. That's game 101 because you don't want this type of stuff to be used against you, weaponized against you. The same thing goes for telling a man about your trauma and your past relationships and all of that stuff. You never tell a man that you're currently dating. All your past trauma, all of your past relationship trauma and issues that you've gone through. Never tell a man you've been cheated on if it's true. Why? Because they will use that against you. They will weaponize that against you. So keep it to yourself. This is why. He's about to tell you exactly why you don't sit up and turn a casual fling into a formal one when it's just casual. Here's why. Because he's going to manipulate you with it. So when you fuck her and you don't text and call her back and like a simp, like a man trying to chase her down, you know what that does? It sends an alarm off in her head and says, hey, what's going on? I mean, I gave him some pussy. He's supposed to be attached. He's supposed to be hooked. But no, you as a man are not hooked. You're giving her a dick and not texting her back. Guarantee you, she's going to want to know, uh, you know, what happened? Was, it, was my pussy not good? Well, what's going on? This knocks her off her pedestal because you're not chasing her just because she gave you some pussy one time. Number three, what every woman usually does, when she calls you, when she texts you, wait hours to text her back. I mean hours. Sometimes a full day if you have to. You know what this does? This shows her, hey, you are no significance in my life. You, you know, I'm not going to be at your beck and call. I'm not going to text you back whatever you want me to. So this, this once again, sends an alarm off in her head. It says, uh, hey, you know, it, it, it makes you mysterious as a man. Cause she's gonna it don't make you mysterious. Day. It make you dumb as hell. As well. Excuse my she's friend. Wonder, what's, what's going on with uh, so-and-so? What is he doing? Uh, what's going on? I mean, she's going to want to know what you're up to. So you text her out of her blue hey. Listen, I had a man try to run game on me and ghost me for four days. You know what I did? I went on a date. That's what I did. This is why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because men want to play games like this. See, and then your ego is bruised because you sitting up here putting all your eggs in one basket. You don't put all your eggs in one basket. And does that mean you out here spreading your legs to every man that you come across? No, sis. No. It just means that you're out here weighing out your options by socializing and engaging with the opposite sex. That's what it means. So then you're not crying when this guy is over here trying to run game on you and play mind games with you. So you leave your options open and you have to because you really got men around walking around that are within this dating pool doing dumb stuff like this like they're children so if they want to play childish games you can go out and meet somebody else it's really that simple you got options you just need to put yourself out there a man ghosted me for four days i get approached all the time so because of that when i went to the gym there was a man we started talking he asked me out on a date and i met up with him and went on a date while this other man was ghosting me playing mind games. Pick and choose what you do. Because you got options. Play naive if you want to. But don't actually emotionally feed into this type of stuff. This is why I always tell you guys. Every man you meet ain't your husband. Every man that you meet doesn't deserve access to your emotions. Because our emotions are attached to our minds. So you don't allow any and everybody fly by nights is what i call them men that you know are not going to stick around they're not trying to stick around fly by nights that's what my grandma used to call them fly by nights they come and they go they are not meant to stay in your life so because of that you're not allowing them into your emotions because once they get into those emotions they get into your mind so you have to guard your emotions look up the cobra snake the cobra snake is the snake that 
only attacks when threatened. Only attacks when threatened. This man is threatening you so you can attack. But any other time, a cobra snake is poised. Very poised. Doesn't really do anything. On guard though, she's on guard. The cobra snake is on guard. But she doesn't attack unless threatened. And she carries herself very poised in a very um, elegant manner. The cobra snake was a protective snake, but she was a goddess snake as well. I'm gonna have to post it to the screen here. But she was very poised. She only attacked when threatened. And in some cases, in order for her to attack, she would play naive, aloof. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So, because of that, when it comes to situations like this, no one's saying be hard to deal with, don't be agreeable, always turn everything into an argument. I'm not saying that. Be poised, be feminine, but when they attack, you turn into something totally different that they're not really prepared for. So, it's really that simple. This is why I don't believe in just being all feminine. No, 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 no. Because we have both feminine and masculine traits. You need to balance them out. You need to know when to use your masculine energy and when to use your feminine energy. Because when you come across men like this, I don't care how feminine you are. I don't care how positive you are. People are always going to try it with you. Negativity is always going to find you. But you can always transmute it into something great. So when it comes to situations like this, if a man tries it, you can be real poised, sweet, and cuddly. But if they start playing these games, that's when you attack, sis. That is when you attack. You know, no, I've been busy. I've been doing this, this, and that. You always have to seem busy. You have to seem aloof when you deal with these women because once they know you're at their back. Don't be using my terminologies. You aren't a busy man. They're going to lose interest. So you must be mysterious. Pop in. Pop out. Pop back in. <laughs> is, that, is that easy? You must be aloof. Uh, number four. I don't need notes, baby. I don't need notes. I, I, it's all up here. I don't need notes. Tell her she's fat. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is the number one biggest thing. To, That's the crazy. Important thing you can do with the most significance. If you tell a woman she's fat, her whole life revolves around her image, how she looks. That's what a. And this is why it is so important that before you put yourself out here on the dating market, you build yourself up. You have high confidence high self-esteem you carry yourself in a high maintenance manner when you try to play the homegirl or the girl next door they don't respect you men like this they prey on a woman who has low self-esteem they prey on a woman that has low confidence they prey on women who don't carry themselves in high maintenance you want to know why because you're easily accessible so this is why building yourself up, working on yourself, leveling up, girl, get out here and level up, sis. And leveling up, it's not about the hair, it's not about the makeup, it's, it's not about the nails being done, it's not about the attire. It's about in here. You have to build up your self-esteem, your self-confidence. You have to build yourself up so strong, feminine, but strong, to the point where men like this can't touch you. They can't touch you because you're that cobra snake. They are the goddess. So a lot of people put a lot of things past them. When you carry yourself feminine, men are gonna put a lot of things past you. When you carry yourself as goofy, bubbly, feminine, they put a lot of things past you. When you carry yourself as naive, <laughs> They put a lot of things past you, but see, that gives you the upper hand and that also gives you control. So he can play all of these games, but at the end of the day, you gotta know who you are. When you look in the mirror, you gotta love yourself. When you look in the mirror, you gotta know who you are. Because when they try it with you, they can try it all day. But it don't mean that they're gonna get anything from it. That's what a woman is, from the makeup, from the clothes she wears. See? Uh, everything. So you slut shape her body, Go do something. This will humble her 
and let her know, hey, you're not the best thing since sliced bread. You're not the. You should already be in the gym, sis. You should already be taking care of yourself. It's called self care. So him telling you to get in the gym, you should already be in the gym. So that checks that off. We can scratch that off the list. That's one he can't use because you should already be in the gym. You should already be active. You should be taking care of yourself. That's called self-love, self-care. Best of the woman on the planet. You're not that attractive. It will humble her. Bring her down to earth. Knock her off that pedestal. Another thing is, thing you can do, if you guys are just hanging out, maybe watching TV or uh, or maybe I'll I can't out. stand this man. If she has a girlfriend, get to uh, it. Any female friends, you know, tell her, oh, so so looks kind of cute, Katie, Shaquita, or or Brittany or Sarah. Tell her, hey, your, your friends look kind of cute. This will instantly knock her ego off. You should instantly leave. Why the hell are you staying with a man like that? looking at your friends in that way listen these men need to understand we will leave you yanni leaves i do not stay you should check my history you should call all the men that i've ever dealt with and ask hey do you want yanni back yeah but she don't talk to me she blocked my number if a man ever was to tell me some dumb stuff like that i would ghost him I put myself on a pedestal so a man could never knock me off my own pedestal. You get what I'm saying? Never allow a man to put you on a pedestal before you put yourself on a pedestal. You should always put yourself on a pedestal before any man. You don't put any man on a pedestal and you don't wait for a man to put you on a pedestal. You put yourself on a pedestal and you stay on that pedestal. You stay. You don't allow a man to knock you off of it. And that includes sometimes not stooping down to their level playing their little mind game. You should just really leave. Any game that I put you up on, it has integrity. It has integrity. You never step out of your character to get back at somebody else. It's whack. You can play naive. You can play aloof. But at the end of the day, you never step out of character to stoop down to this little insecure man's level. Because then again, you're stepping off your throne, your pedestal that you put yourself on. Because you did the work, you did the internal work, you leveled up, you focused on your self-love, self-esteem, self-care, self-confidence, self, 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 to get to this point. So why would you step off your throne to stoop to his level to get back at him? You never do that. So we always practice integrity on this channel. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it looks like. We never seek revenge against people who want to do us dirty because in reality, they're missing out on their blessing. They're missing out on a good thing. So let them play whatever game they want to play in their head and you can leave and move on with your life. When you're a good woman, they always come back. Never doubt that. A lot of times we doubt it when we leave or when we're thinking about leaving, but once we're gone, they always come back. Never doubt that. If you was a good woman, they gonna come running after you, chasing after you, as they should. And deflate her ego. Bring her down to earth. Cause she did, you know what this does? This says, hey, he's not that, you know, he's not that into me. My other friends look good. You know, I must look like trash. You must do these things. Also, if you guys are sitting at home watching a movie or, hey, you know, she likes, you know, like to watch reality shows or The View or whatever, daytime talk show or some show. It's, you know, it's a lot of attractive women in movies. If you watch a VH1, uh, you know, watch a VH1 or basketball or whatever, This is why I don't watch TV. Tell her, hey, I don't I watch TV. Pretty good. She looks cute. She's attractive. I'll fuck her. I'll have sex with her. This will instantly deflate her ego and, and, and knock and humble her. Because one thing she has to realize is you're not the, the best thing since sliced bread. You're not the most attractive woman on the planet. Please be the type of woman that can give another woman a compliment. If I see a beautiful woman walking by, I give her a compliment. Or if I've been in situations with men that I've dated where they bring up a celebrity or something like that, I'm like, oh, she's so gorgeous. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And I mean it when I say it too. It's not fake. It's for real. Like, she's gorgeous. I'm not insecure. So if he was to say something like that to my face, I wouldn't care. Not when it comes to a TV show or a celebrity that they could never get. Like, you know these men can't get it. So it's like, I don't care if you're talking about another celebrity. Maybe that's their fantasy girl or whatever. Girl, that is childish. 
You will never get her. So stay in your place, sir. I'm not chasing you. There's plenty other fish out there in the sea. You men must humble these women because their egos are inflated by men. They get constant text messages and inboxes from their social medias telling, hey, you're so beautiful. Can I take you out? Yeah, she it's true. Really, ever if if never, she she's never gotten her ego deflated. She's never got. What these men need to understand, and to the men that watch me, the ones that got a good head on their shoulders, sir, please understand those men are not you. They're not you. They're not you. If she wants you, she wants you. She don't care about all them other men in her DMs. She only cares when you start doing stuff like this. She'll start to care when you start doing dumb stuff like this. She'll start to think like, dang, you know, why am I dealing with him if he over here calling me fat and saying I'm not this and I'm not bad, playing all these mind games and mind tricks. Then she start pulling up her DMs like, hmm, maybe I should talk to Tyrone and maybe I should talk to Keith and Jamal since, or maybe, maybe I should start to talk to Kayla. Maybe Kayla is who I want to talk to. Kayla, Jonathan, since they want to play games and mind tricks and do all of this childish stuff, maybe, maybe I want to talk to Chan, Quan, I don't know, any of them. Since they want to start playing these little mind games, maybe I need to start weighing my options and open up those DMs or those dating app direct messaging that we get. So to the men that are watching, when you start doing stuff like this, yeah, she's gonna start looking elsewhere. Who would not? And most likely if she's smart, she'll just leave. A woman who knows her worth will simply leave you. I told she's fat. She's never gotten told that, hey, you do a workout. That, hey, your friend is attractive. That woman on TV, that VH1 reality We show, don't care. That woman is a lot more attractive than you. I'll fuck her. She's not being used to told these things. Y'all like my ring? I think it's so no, cute. Ever. I like it. So, so men rejected her. She's always used to leaving first. She's left every man she's been with. She's rejected every man she's been with. So one thing you need to do is if she gets out of line, you say, hey, this is not going to work out. Uh, good luck. I guarantee you she'll be running back to you. She don't know what to do. Do these things, man. Humble her. Listen, the only man that could ever humble me is God himself. Okay, he's going to have to come out the scar and humble me. That's the only man that could ever humble me, if I'm being completely honest. God himself going to have to come out the sky and humble me. No man walking this earth could ever, ever, ever humble me. Because that is the only man that has the power to do it. God himself. So this whole humbling her, destroy her ego, it's like, bro, like, are you really that insecure? Are you really that insecure? I just don't understand it. And then they really think they saying something worth something. You're not. You're really not. You're not saying nothing worth nothing. But you know what I am? I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative of the fact that you men have decided to come on here and put out content like this for me to educate other women with. Thank you. Because we've been knowing this stuff has been going on for years. But now that you guys are putting it out here for us to study so we can learn, because this is all about learning. We're thankful over here. We're appreciative because now we know what the game is. Thank you. Thank you, dum dum. You know, they'll sell they soul for a quick check. They'll also sell you the game for a quick check. And to be honest, these men are going out sad, y'all. Because everybody's getting hip to their game. It's like, what y'all going to do? Y'all actually going to have to work on yourselves eventually. Because ain't nobody going to be dealing with this mess. Not after they get on my channel and they see how it is. Don't allow these men to play you. Know who you are. You need to know who you are. You need to stand naked, butt naked in the mirror. And you got to love that girl in that mirror before you even think about putting yourself out here on the dating scene. Because it has pee in it. The dating pool has pee in it.
So you need to build yourself up, put on some armor, girl, some armor of protection. And I mean literally, okay? You may need to get you a gun. You may need to take up some self-defense classes. I'm being serious before you even think about putting yourself out here on the dating scene because this is what we're dealing with. And are you ready? Are you prepared? If you're not prepared, it's okay. You can get prepared. Go through my content and start watching my content because you will definitely get prepared and start weighing out your options and seeing what's best for you. Because you have options and you can build yourself up to be a great and amazing woman. And if you wanna know how to do that, it starts in here. It starts in here. It starts in here. It's not the makeup, it's not the weave, it's not the clothes, it's not the shoes, it's not the handbag. It is what you work on in here. It's internal. And I call them the self principles, self confidence, self esteem, self discipline. Are you going to the gym to work out so he can't even use that against you like he tried to in this video? Are you getting some form of exercise in? You don't have to go to the gym, but are you working out? moving, getting physical, doing yoga. You can do whatever you want to do. Roller skate, make it fun, girl. You don't have to be a gym rat though. Are you self-educating? Are you watching red pill content to see what these men be up to? You should. Self principles, they are what I talk about a lot on my Instagram, a little bit over at the Feminine Yoni, which I know a lot of you guys are like, what happened to the Feminine Yoni? It's coming, you guys. I'm doing some things behind the scenes that I can't talk about, but just understand that we will get that channel up and running so that we can talk more about this type of stuff when it comes to the self principles that I'm always talking about. I don't even know if I want to put it on or out here on the internet or if I just want to write a book. I haven't decided yet. But this completes the video, you guys. I would love your thoughts and opinions. Comment down below. You should probably share a story of how a man tried to do this to you or when a man did it to you so you could educate and help other girls. I want this YouTube channel to be a community where we share our embarrassing stories of when we got played, a man was playing mind games, because it can help the next woman who is going through a similar situation. That is what this channel is all about. It's not about mockery. It's not about making fun of or laughing at the next girl. It's about sharing our stories and coming together through sisterhood to help the next girl so or the next woman. So on that note, share your story down below. If any of these things have been used against you within this video, start from beginning to end, how it happened, how it ended up. Help the next woman because we are trying to decrease out of wedlock births, teenage pregnancies, okay? The red pill is working hard and I'm trying to work harder. So that's all that I have regarding this video, you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share this with your homegirl, your girlfriend. Share it, girl. Maybe y'all need to do a girl's night and watch this video together so you guys can get educated on what's going on. We keep it real over here so we can heal. This is Real Talk with Yanni, and I will see you guys in my next video.